Hey, this is Jeff with a follow-up to the C-14 Planetary Night. I'm here with Brent Maynard. There's Brent. Hello. My IT guy and planetary expert. I am not a planetary guy. So Brent really holds my hand through this process. And as we showed you the other day, we had the C-14 on the AP-1200 mount. What we're doing tonight, I'm pretty much just sticking with the Canon RA. Do we have it up there, Brent? Mm -hmm. Canon RA with a 5X Teleview Barlow, and we're really blessed with some seeing. This is October the 5th, and we're at about 11 p.m. Eastern Time, and we're doing 30, I'm sorry, three minute, three minute video captures at 1 50th of a second exposure at what ISO? 1000. ISO 1000 at 4K video at 30 frames per second. Yes. On the C14, so we are at effectively a 4,000 millimeter focal length. <laughs> so, times, times five. Oh, yes, times five. Sorry. <laughs> so 20,000 millimeter focal length. Is that right? Yes. Goodness. <laughs> so it's crazy, but uh, looks great on the camera. I'm not an image processor, but Brent's going to. Help me work through this. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. If you didn't watch my previous video on the C14, this is our Legacy C14 4000 millimeter F11 Schmidt Cassegrain telescope with the Astrophysics 1200 go to mount in the Donald C. Martin Observatory. Please see my comments at the end of this video on some pretty interesting historical facts on this dome and telescope. You can actually see some of the... Yeah? You can see that some of the clouds... Well, is it recording? Yeah, well, it's recording now and we're zooming in. You can actually see some of the haze. That looks pretty good. Yeah. It's as good as I've ever seen Mars. It's pretty steady. I'm going to have to move that shutter here in a minute. That's pretty cool. That's cool. I'd be happy. Yep. I'm, I'm not a planetary guy. <laughs> and uh, this is cool to... So even though I'm not really a planetary imager and I used um, some software I'm not very skilled at using from PIP to Registax, um, I think the image came out nicely. I always go for, I really want to go for a very natural looking planetary image and uh, try not to create a whole lot of artifacts in it. So it wasn't quite as sharp as I was hoping for. Our seeing in Appalachia is Nowhere near what we get at the Winter Star Party. If you've ever been there, the scene conditions can be outstanding. But I was really happy. It was a great night imaging Mars. And I encourage you, if you haven't done it, get out, take a look, take a try at imaging Mars with whatever gear you have. DSLR, uh, cooled CMOS camera, doesn't matter. Give, give uh, what you have uh, a try. I'm also getting ready to head to the Penny Ryle Stargaze. And this is October the 11th. And I'll be heading down what looks to be like Tuesday night. The weather really starts to open up. And so I'll be down there Tuesday through probably Friday night at the uh, Penny Ryle Stargate. So join me if you get a chance. It looks like a great opportunity. I'll again put some links in this um, video. I'm also going to put some links to some historical references to the Donald C. Martin Observatory as well as the C-14 Optical Tube original owner. For those of you who find historical information uh, in astronomy of interest, our tube dates back to a name, Leo Hensel. Leo was a renowned astrophotographer, worked for Celestron, and unfortunately just recently passed away, and I ran across his obituary. And I'm going to post a link to that, and it gives a little bit of a background on Leo Hensel. The reason we know it was from Hensel is our original OVAS members 
shared the story of picking up the telescope and dome from Leo, and he's also signed the dome on one of the support joists, and so that's how the second generation of our local astronomy club, OVAS, have uh, come to understand the the lineage of the C-14 telescope and dome. So it has a f nearly 50-year legacy, and quite a legacy back to uh, really, it may have been one of the original Celestron C-14 orange tubes produced, being that it belonged to Leo and he was an employee of Celestron. So it has a great history. I encourage you to check it out. And uh, it it's always fun to work with the instrument. Yeah, it needs some loving care, it needs some updated. We have some plans with the school board to do that. And we're hopeful that things, actually we're hoping to get it fully automated at some point. So that's the, that's the ultimate plan. So, but thanks for joining me on this video. I hope to see it at Penny Ryle Stargaze. There's a lot of material to come. And I wish you all the clear skies and get out and check out Mars during this opposition.